mohawks are fun, flexible, and easy to style. Watch me style this cornrow mohawk using my own natural hair. Stay tuned! I take sections from both sides of my head and I like to give the front part a type of curve. I take the part all the way back. You can part as big or small of a section as you like. I like when my mohawk is fluffy so I try not to take too much out from the side. This hairstyle works best on the tangled and stretched hair. I am just plaiting the two end sections temporarily until I twist the middle section. I part the middle section for the twist out into two sections because I want the back to lay flat and the front to go forward. So I will just twist in those directions for the perfect mohawk effect. For my twists, I am using the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. I just put a small amount on each section because this Cantu product tends to flake if you use too much. I am two strand twisting the entire middle section of my head. For the back section, I twist downward. I don't twist them too tight because I want body in my twist out. Just pin the twists together temporarily so that when I corner the sides, the twists won't be in the way. Now for the front middle section, I twist forward. For the cornrows, I'm parting a curve and bringing the first one all the way to the side and then I twist the end. six cornrows at the top. Now to the back section that is left over. I just part those evenly into small rows, cornrow and twist the ends. <laughs> this 
process for the other side of my head. I usually lay my edges with protein styling gel and tie them down before I style in the next couple of hours or next day. I am ready to let my twists out. I like taking a pony holder and pulling each strand from the larger group to undo the twist because I don't want to miss any. Using my shampoo comb, I pick the roots for more volume. I don't do this to the extreme front as I like when my hair falls flat in my face. My hair wasn't lying as flat as I wanted it to the front so I pinned it down. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more natural hairstyles and if you are interested in knowing how I grew my YouTube channel from 53 subscribers to almost 4,000 subscribers, check out my ebook The Unbothered YouTuber for Beginners in the description box down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!